What's up, guys? Tim, Sundance Fools, and it is update time. So the 420 is snorkeled, seven foot one. That's what it'll clear the clear the garage. Got some different rims on the truck. These poor rascals here has just had it. So glad to downsize and. Uh, yeah, so I got the, uh, let's see, got the new plastic piece. Since you guys, since I made a video last, got the new seat. Um, of course, ran this snorkel. Put some of my windshield stickers on it. Uh, JB Fab radiator relocate. Uh, got the mini light bar on top. Uh, complete new front hubs with wheel bearings. I got the tie rod upgrade. Um, hmm upper ball joints both sides uh, let's see what else I think that's about it um, there guys I kind of got putting my butt on this one the rear stretch on the bottom like this tab here it's broke maybe you can see it but it is broke slamming half it's a rounded off bolt and a diff rounded off bolt and the back side of the brake assembly I was gonna do a brake delete, but at this point, ain't even worth doing. Might as well get a whole nother swing arm. Big shout out to Jarrett Priest. What up, Cuzzo? Um, guys, if you know Jarrett, that's one good dude, man. If you don't know Jarrett, that's one good dude. So, anyways, um, so yeah, I gotta get a new stretch. I already got the new drive shaft in it in the spring. Um, and yeah, the diff is shot, the pinion bearings gone out in it. Uh, the teeth are got some chips on it. It's not even worth saving. So just gonna have to buy another diff. Whole swing arm. Swing arm's cracked right there. Something's going on with it. Um, so I'm just gonna get a whole new stretch, new swing arm, and uh, rock and roll. Smokes like a freight train. Needs the rear output shaft seal. You can see all that mud in there. Or, oil excuse me dirt caked all around it so i'm gonna go ahead and get both uh front and rear output shaft seals new top end put in it i got a eight pack of led rock lights it'll be two in the relocate one up in the center under the that'll shine out in the front one under each tire on this front one under each tire on the side and one in the rear that shines down on the rear end so then we get the new swing arm and all that and go ahead and paint that red and sand it. I should have a little bit of time. I was going to try to make Outback Mud Bash and see Jelly Roll, but uh, hell, I wanted to ride this weekend. But with the new problems, there's no sense in me tearing up that new drive shaft, trying to go out there and pimp it and limp it, and it smokes like a meth addict. There's no way in the hell you catch me dead out in the park with something smoking that bad. And it pops and backfires and coughs and wheezes and farts. But, yeah, and my snorkel's a little crooked, but I figured I'd wait to come back from the Guru and then cut a couple in there and straighten it out. I was trying to line it up by myself. So, guys, just want to give you an update. Um, it's coming right along. It's a uh, pain in the butt. Um, it's expensive. Nothing's cheap on it. Way more problems than I thought. But, when I get it done, oh, yeah, it's going to be cool. When it comes back from the Guru, I'll put all the right lights on it. No sense in doing it now and have to contend with all those wires. If you guys want to do a quick update video, let you know where I was at with the bike, what's going on with it, what's going on with me, everything's good. And uh, look for another video in about three weeks. Uh, it'll be coming out of the shop, and hopefully I'll have all the rear end components in place, ready to put it back together, and definitely, definitely going to go hit a ride somewhere. So Y'all will see it in action, in video. Coming up soon. Y'all stay tuned.